No, I'm just making that observation. I want to make that observation. So, you know, um, this commission, you all treat this engagement as if it's a game. As if, you know, we're here because we don't have anything better to do with our Tuesday mornings. You regularly arrest us out of commission meetings for doing things like um, walking out the door to answer a phone call or for speaking over our time. Um, and now you're arresting people before they can make it to commission. Um, and I don't think it's coincidental. The arrest of Pete White is not coincidental. Um, you write or commission the writing of, because we know that you don't read, so you probably don't write either. Um, commission the writing of um, op-eds that disparage us, rather than talking about how engaged we are as a citizenry. You go on dog and pony shows to try and um, rally folks around you as if this is a um, popularity contest, rather than something that's really important. Basically, you all are jockeying for political positioning, and I know Matt Johnson won't even bother to look up because he's the main perpetrator of this. Right. This is public comment. This is meant for you, Matt Johnson, as the president of this commission. But of course, you won't look. To, you are a coward. You are a coward. Right. You are a coward. We are here because our lives are affected every day. Look up. We are here. I'm sitting with the mother of Waikisha Wilson, whose daughter is not coming home. We were out on Slauson and Brenhurst because Keith Bercy deserves us to be there. This is about the real lives of real people. And I don't care if you run away to Sherman Oaks and marry a non-black woman so you can have light-skinned kids who might be able to pass. They still black and you're still black. And so it's going to be levied on you as well. So you will want to stop treating this as if this is some sort of political game. This is about the truth. This is about the truth of what's happening to black people in the city that you live in. It's about the truth of what's happening to us. Stop treating it like it's a game. Stop treating it like it's a game. It's not a game. And it'll be visited on the speaker. I follow we got her. We got her. Woo. You don't know who I am. I'm telling you all, it all falls down. 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 I'm telling you all, it all. Do not have to touch her. Are they putting their hands on her? No. Oh. no. We'll get this no, shit cracking no. in here. They're not going to do that to her. Yet another person taken out. They're not going to do that to her. I look forward to all of this falling down. That is the future of this department. That is the future of capitalism. That is the future of te this terrorizing force in our communities, that is the future, that is the prayer that I leave in this building. It all will fall down, and I look forward to it. It will all fall down. It's flimsy, its foundation is flimsy. It's based in violence, it's weak. Violence is weak, you all are so weak. It will fall down. I came back to learn about the um, yet another murder on your hands. Yet another murder on your hands. I came back today to learn about Pete White's arrest. Y'all are so ill, you all are so sick. And that's how I know in my heart and I know in my walk, we know in our prayers, we know in our action that all of this will fall down. I leave that as a strong prayer in this building. I'm telling you all, it'll all fall down. 
And Matt Johnson, you got, as I had warned you, I knew you would get more sick, and it's so visible now. You are much more ill now. And I look forward to meeting with you all next week on Tuesday. Sandra, I hope you'll be able to make eye contact with the Brown community out there, as since you haven't been able to make it with me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Next speaker, Habib Khan. All of like Camilla Moore.